Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Glory to God. I never heard that one. Amen. But I enjoyed that one this morning. Glory to God. <laughs> Praise God. I got the river. Amen. Of living water. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. One of those old, old, old fashioned type songs. Amen. Praise God. I thank God this morning. Amen. Hallelujah for being in your midst on today. Thank God for entrusting me with his word on this morning. And Father God, I come in the name of Jesus. Oh God, as we, oh God, open our mouths to say a word for you. We ask that the word that I speak be not my word, oh God, but let it be what it is that you will have your people to hear. Lord, let mine, oh God, me, I, I oh God, decrease. And you increase, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the prayer, oh God. Such an anointed prayer on this morning. I thank you for the reading of the word, oh God. I thank you for the Sunday school, oh God, that we, oh God, participated in on today. And God, we ask that you would continue to bless as we go forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God on this morning uh, for the word, amen, that he has given me to share. And uh, I had said uh, in the in the um, bringing of the word this morning, I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to be nice and calm and, you know, and, and deliver this word nice and calmly. And then Brother Black chose me this song. Lord, mm. I thank the calm lift. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I just got excited. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's going to be the same word. Hallelujah. But it might be in a different tone this morning. Praise God. I thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Our word this morning, praise God will be coming from uh, the book of Ephesians, uh, uh, chapter 2, amen, the second chapter in Ephesians, beginning at verse number 1. And I thank God as, uh, as I was um, asking God for a word and preparing a word on this week, my mind kept going back to the word that Pastor spoke on last Sunday. And the word that he said, I will not stay there. I don't, I don't know if anybody else got that word, but that was what I what I wrote down. I will not stay there. Glory be to God. And I thank God. And I said, Lord, I will not stay there. Hallelujah. You know, and he went on and he told us all about um, freedom and all because of the 4th of July and what we had gained and all of these things that we got in the natural because we live in this great country. But you know what? I want to thank God because of what God has given me and not just me, but to all of us in the spirit. And so as I was looking into the uh, book of Ephesians and uh, this book of Ephesians was written to the church at Ephesus. And we know that the church at Ephesus was mainly Gentile. And as our Sunday school lesson this morning, we were talking about uh, accepting God's invitation. And I thought that just sort of fell right in to what I was talking about on this morning. But instead of the title, accepting God's invitation, I want to say accept what God has already done for us. Glory be to God. And as I said here, this book of Ephesus was written to the church at, this book of Ephesians was written to the church at Ephesus. And in Paul's writing to the saints at Ephesus, uh, there was a thing that he normally did. First of all, he addressed them for who they were. And then he reminded them of their spiritual heritage. Glory be to God. He told them who they were, <clears throat> and then he reminded them of who they are right now. And this is what I want to talk to us about on today. 
who we are right now. He reminded them of their position in Christ because of who they are. And this morning, I want to remind you of your position in Christ because of who you are and for because of what he has done. And I will be reading <clears throat> on this morning, beginning at verse number one of chapter two in the book of Ephesians. And that first verse reads, and you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Now listen to this. He says, and you, who he has quickened, who were dead in your trespasses and sins. So what is that telling me this morning? What is that telling you? It is saying to me that God has given us a spiritual resurrection. Glory be to God. Just as Jesus died and was laid in the tomb and God resurrected him, he quickened him and brought him back to life, same thing has happened to us. It says that you who were dead in your trespasses and sins, you were dead, but Christ has now made you alive. Glory be to God. I thank God for that. And not only did he make me alive, glory to God, he says, wherein in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world. He has changed me. He has changed my walk. He has changed your walk. And wherein in past times, you walked according to the course of this world, you no longer walk according to the course of this world. Glory be to God. You no longer walk according to the things that used to be, but God has set you on a new path. Now it is he who orders our steps. The word of God tells us that those steps of a good man are ordered by God. Glory be to God. Not only has he ordered my steps, but he has given me a new direction. Glory be to God. Not only has he ordered your steps, but he has changed the direction in which you were going and given you a new direction. Romans 12 and 2 tells us to be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. And after he gave you a new direction, did he establish, glory be to God, the right power source in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He established the right power source in your life. You who were once controlled by the prince of the powers of this air, the, the, talking about the devil, you were once controlled, your mind was controlled by him, your actions were controlled by him, your thoughts were controlled by him, but now you are no longer controlled by the prince of the powers of this air, but the Lord has established you in the right power source, and he has given you a brand new power source in your life. He has broken the power that was once held over us, glory be to God, and he has brought us into the light of a brand new existence. Second Corinthians 5 and 17 tells us, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Hallelujah. 
We are not that old man anymore, but we are a new creation in Christ. Hallelujah. He has changed our conversation. He has changed our lives. He has changed our desires. He has changed our longings. He has changed our cravings. Glory be to God. He has given us a brand new outlook on life. Hallelujah. And I thank God for it. Hallelujah. The word tells us that in, in the second verse, it says, in which wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. That spirit that we once had, we don't have that spirit anymore. Why? Because the word of God tells us that we have become a new creation in Christ. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. I thank God for being a new creation in him. I thank God that I am no longer that old man. I thank God that I no longer desire to do the old things that I used to do. I thank God that, that my longings and my heart and my actions are not for the things of the world, but my longings and my desires and my actions are for the things of the spirit of God. Why? Because he has made me a new creation in him. He has, he has connected me to a different power source than what I used to be connected to. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. I thank God. He said that in uh, John 1, he said, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Hallelujah. And he says, and now are you clean through the words that I have spoken unto you? So that source that used to fill my life, that source that used to empower me is no longer the source that empowers me. I am now empowered by the word of God. I am now empowered by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. I am now empowered by that which God provides and not by that which the world provides. Glory be to God. I thank God today. I thank God today. Hallelujah. He says, among whom also we had our conversations in time past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Glory to God. Paul here is describing what we used to be. We are no longer that. We are no longer, glory be to God. We are no longer the children of wrath. We are no longer the children whose nature is guided by those things that used to be in our lives. But God has given us a brand new nature. So now we are brand new in him. We are new creations in Christ. We have been brought into the light of our existence. Glory be to God. He has changed our conversation he has given us a brand new outlook. He has given us a brand new prospects. Our prospects are no longer what they used to be. The things that we think on, the things that we desire, the things that we yearn for, the things that we want in our lives, the things that are most important to us are totally different than what they used to be before we became brand new in the Lord. Philippians 4 and 8 tells us, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, they own these things. The things that I used to do, I don't desire to do them anymore. The places that I used to go, I don't desire to go there anymore. The woman that I used to be, I am not that woman anymore. I am a brand new creature in Christ. Hallelujah. Why? Because he has quickened me. Glory be to God. When I was dead in my trespasses and my sins, and he has made me a brand new creation. 
Glory be to God. I thank God for it. I thank God that he did not leave me where I was. Hallelujah. But he saw that I needed a savior. And when he saw that I needed a savior, he reached down and he picked me up and lifted me up out of the, the murk and the mire. Glory be to God. And he washed me off and he cleansed me up and he gave me a brand new start. Hallelujah. And he set me on a brand new path. Glory be to God. And he said, now you are no longer what you used to be, but you are brand new in me. Glory to God. And I thank God, hallelujah, that I am no longer, hallelujah, that old man, hallelujah, but I am a brand new creature in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I give thanks, hallelujah. Glory be to God. To the Father, hallelujah, which has made me, hallelujah, me, hallelujah, to be partaker of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Hallelujah. I thank God, hallelujah, who has delivered me, glory be to God, from the power of darkness, hallelujah, and has translated me, hallelujah, into the kingdom of his dear son. Glory be to God. I thank God. I don't know about you today, hallelujah, but I thank God that I am not what I used to be, hallelujah, but I am brand new in him, hallelujah, because of what he did in my life. Glory be to God. I thank God. And not only in my life, hallelujah, but in your life also, hallelujah. I thank God, hallelujah. And Paul, hallelujah, as he prayed that prayer, glory be to God. In the first chapter of Ephesians, hallelujah. He prayed, hallelujah, and he said, Lord, I cease not to give thanks, hallelujah, for you in my prayers, hallelujah. Glory be to God, that the God of our Father Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, hallelujah, into the knowledge of him, hallelujah. God wants us to have the spirit of wisdom and revelation into the knowledge of him, he wants us to know who he is. He wants us to recognize, glory be to God, who he is this morning. He said that the eyes of your understanding, glory be to God, be enlightened, hallelujah. He wants our eyes to come open. He wants us no longer to walk in darkness, but he wants us to be able to see, hallelujah, who it is that we are in him, who it is that, hallelujah, we have become, glory be to God, because of what he has done in our lives. He said that ye may know, glory be to God, what is the hope of his calling? What is the riches of the glory in the inheritance of the saints? We have a great inheritance, hallelujah, in Jesus, hallelujah. He died, glory be to God, and he became, hallelujah, the testator of the will, glory be to God, and he will, glory be to God, all glory be to God that belong to him, hallelujah. He turned around and willed it to us. And because we are heirs, glory to God, and John heirs with Christ, everything, hallelujah, that God, hallelujah, gave to him, hallelujah. He turned around, glory to God, and directed it to us, hallelujah. So we glory be to God. We hallelujah, hallelujah. We no longer have to lose that. Oh, glory be to God. We are no longer, hallelujah, bound, hallelujah, by the bowels of Satan, hallelujah. But God has loosed us, hallelujah. He has freed us, hallelujah, and he has empowered us. Glory be to God, hallelujah. I thank God, hallelujah, that he has empowered me, glory be to God. He said, what is the exceeding greatness of the power, hallelujah, to us with hallelujah, who believe, glory be to God. We are not, hallelujah, that weakly not there, glory be to God, who have no power, hallelujah, who the enemy can trample all over, glory be to God. But he said that he has given us, hallelujah, power, hallelujah, glory be to God, glory be to God. In Luke 10 and 19, he says, behold, glory be to God, I give unto you power, Hallelujah, to tread on serpents uh, and scorpions, hallelujah, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any, any means shall harm you, hallelujah. Not only glory to God, uh, do we have power, glory be to God, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, 
Glory be to God. Over serpents, hallelujah. And scorpions, hallelujah. He said, but we got power over the enemy, hallelujah. So when the enemy comes, hallelujah, and tell you who you are not, glory to God. You can stand, hallelujah, and look him right in the face, glory be to God, and say, because God said uh, that I am, glory be to God, and because God says uh, that I have, glory be to God, uh, and because God says uh, that I possess, hallelujah, I can tell you, hallelujah, to get under my feet, hallelujah, the place where you were placed, hallelujah, when God gave Jesus uh, ultimate power, hallelujah. He placed all powers, hallelujah, and principalities, hallelujah, under the feet of Jesus, glory to God. Uh, and because he placed them, hallelujah, under the feet of Jesus, hallelujah, they are also placed under our feet. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, I thank God, hallelujah. I thank God, hallelujah. Glory to God. This word tells us, hallelujah, not only, hallelujah, do we have power, glory be to God. He said, but he led us to know, hallelujah, what is the exceeding, hallelujah, greatness of the power, hallelujah. Glory to God to us what, uh, who believe, glory to God, uh, according to the working, hallelujah, of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, when he raised him up from the dead, glory to God. Uh, this is why when we started off this morning, uh, I said, hallelujah, that God has given us, hallelujah, a spiritual resurrection, hallelujah. And just like he raised Jesus, uh, he has raised us also, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, and just like he gave God, hallelujah, God gave Jesus the power, hallelujah. He has given us the power as well. Uh, hallelujah, glory be to God. He said, far above all principalities uh, and powers, hallelujah, and might, hallelujah, and dominion, glory be to God, uh, and every name that is named, uh, glory be to God. Uh, not only in this world, glory be to God, uh, but also in the world to come, hallelujah. So I don't care what it is, glory be to God, that the devil may try to bring to you, hallelujah. You don't have to accept it, hallelujah, because it don't belong to you, hallelujah. You got the power, hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, whatsoever, hallelujah, you yeah, have bond, hallelujah, on earth, hallelujah, shall be bound in heaven, glory to God. And whatsoever, hallelujah, you have loose, glory be to God, on earth, hallelujah, shall be loosed in heaven, hallelujah. He has given you this power. He has given me this power, hallelujah. But it's up to us, hallelujah. Glory be to God. To seek him out, hallelujah. To seek and know, hallelujah. To acquaint ourselves with, hallelujah. That which God has made, glory be to God. Available, glory be to God. Through what his son Jesus, uh, oh God, hallelujah, wrought when he died on the cross, uh, glory be to God. Uh, and when God resurrected him, glory to God, he said he raised him, hallelujah, with all power, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to God. Uh, power, hallelujah, not only in this world, but in the world to come, hallelujah. And he has put all things, uh, glory be to God, uh, under his feet, hallelujah, and has given him, hallelujah, to be head over all things, glory, even the church, hallelujah. And because, hallelujah, we are the church, glory be to God, uh, and he is the head, glory to God. Uh, whatever is under his feet, glory to God, uh, is under my feet also, hallelujah. So whenever the enemy come, hallelujah, Trying to bring me his junk, hallelujah. I don't have to accept it, glory be to God. Uh, because God, hallelujah, 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 has already defeated him. Uh, he is a defeated foe, hallelujah. God has already, glory be to God, uh, given us the victory, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, that whatever, oh God, uh, we call done, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. It is done, hallelujah, because he said so. Glory be to God. God, I thank you, hallelujah. I thank you, oh God, hallelujah, because, hallelujah, you have given me glory to God, a spiritual resurrection, hallelujah, 
that means hallelujah. I'm no longer dead of God. Glory be to God. But you have given me a spiritual resurrection. I am made to life. Hallelujah. I am brought to life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. A brand new life. A brand new life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I say God, glory to God for that new life. Hallelujah. And the cost of it, hallelujah. That new life, glory be to God. Uh, first, hallelujah, five and six, hallelujah. And chapter two, hallelujah, tells us, glory be to God. Uh, he has placed us, hallelujah, in a new position, hallelujah. He said, even when we were dead, hallelujah, in our sins, hallelujah, has he quickened us, glory be to God, with Christ, quicken us together with Christ, hallelujah. By grace uh, are ye saved, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, and has raised us up, hallelujah. Together, hallelujah. And made us to sit together, hallelujah. In heavenly places, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, I may walk around here in earth, hallelujah. But hallelujah, glory be to God. Uh, my mind, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, Hallelujah, my spirit man, hallelujah. Glory be to God. All that I am, glory be to God. Is seated in heaven, glory be to God. In heavenly places, hallelujah, in Christ Jesus. God, and I thank you, hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank God, hallelujah, for the word of God, hallelujah. For if you, hallelujah, study in his word, God, hallelujah. It lets us know, hallelujah, just who you are, God. Just who you are, God. And just who we are in you, Jesus. Lord, and I thank you for it today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He has elevated us far above all principalities. Hallelujah. Far above all powers. Hallelujah. So when the enemy want to come and bring you something, glory be to God. Glory be to God. You got the power, hallelujah. You got the authority, hallelujah, to tell him, hallelujah, not so. Glory be to God. Don't belong to me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm not accepting that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because God said I did not have to. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, God. Glory be to God. Verse 8 tells us, by grace are you saved. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Through faith, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that not of yourself, but it is a gift. Hallelujah. So don't get high. Glory be to God. Don't get big-headed. Glory be to God. Thinking that you've done anything. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You haven't done anything. Glory to God. God did it. He did it all, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. When he went to that cross, hallelujah. He bought it all, glory be to God. He paid the supreme cost, hallelujah. He did it, glory be to God. He did it, hallelujah. Glory be to God. But I thank God. He didn't keep it to himself, hallelujah. He shared it with us as well. Glory to God. Look at a God, hallelujah. What a God we serve. What a God, what a God, what a God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And in verse 10 in my closing says, for we, hallelujah, are his workmanship. Created, hallelujah, in Christ Jesus. For we are his workmanship. You are his workmanship. Glory to God. You are who he made you to be. Glory to God. And recognize, glory to God, that God don't make no junk. Jesus, God don't make no junk. Hallelujah. But he can take some junk and make it into a masterpiece. Hallelujah. And that's what we are today. We are his masterpiece. Hallelujah. He has taken a junky old me. Glory be to God. Who was not fit for the kingdom. Glory to God. And he made me a masterpiece. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. Who would serve a God like this? Glory. Hallelujah. He has made me. He has made you into his masterpiece. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Remember the prayer that Paul prayed in Ephesians 1 and 18, that your eyes, that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, you have a glorious inheritance because of what Jesus has done in your life. Pray for my strength in the Lord. Don't forget, you can help us continue to spread the good news by subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's PIBC, Pentecost Inspirational Baptist Church. Like. Follow, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. Have a blessed week.